What's up gamers? It's your boy Daily Productions here and today we are back playing some more Wooden Battles. It has been eons, my friend, since we've actually played Wooden Battles. But I got a comment the other day that was like, I used to love it when you played this game. And I was like, you know what? It is a fun game. We should play it some more. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing some workshop battles. The first one that we're going to be doing here uh, is this mega fortress right here. It is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Uh, and the blues are going to be marching on this mega fortress with just linemen and a few medics and shotgunners. Meanwhile, the defenders have themselves a whole lot of riflemen. Uh, they've got themselves snipers, captains. They've got it all going on, baby. So let's go ahead and press play and see what ends up going on right here. So we've got the march commencing here. And it uh, looks like actually a few red troopers are going to be sallying on forth. Oh, bayonet charge going down the blue lines here. The reds getting pushed back. Their outer lines falling rather rapidly here. And the blues keep on pushing in. They are creating a massive amount of chaos here for the red defenders. The red super fortress walls beginning to fire down at Zaboyos as they come into range here. The blues are in a bit of a struggle bus right now. They're still going along with the charge uh, trying to bayonet the reds here especially those on the ground but uh to little or no effect on the troopers who are defending oh parts of the fortress getting crippled dropping the soldiers from it dropping them to the ground there you go they actually did end up destroying bits and beat bobs of the uh the fortress right there but it seems like overall the blues are on track to lose this thing they've got only a few shotgunners left meanwhile the reds have a whole lot of troopers still lined up on the fortress walls whoa massive amount of destruction right there as the blues topple some key structural parts but still it wasn't enough and the reds ended up losing that battle right there oof indeed all right guys that was BEA beautiful. Let's get some more workshop battles going here. All right, so we're going to keep the trend of the Mega Fortress going here. Uh, except for this time around, we're going to be actually setting up the attackers. So uh, we have actually quite a bit of cashola here that we can utilize if we so desire. Um, and so I think we shall utilize it, you know, because we're trying to topple a fortress here. We're trying to get these boys down from their high horse. Um... Okay, I messed up that line completely, but it doesn't matter. They'll just be crooked. I'm trying to, like, set it up so it looks like a professional, uh, like, army, but it looks awful. This just looks terrible. You know what? When in doubt, just add cannons. Just add some big boom boom boys. Big boom boom boys. Oh, you know what? We got to get some grenadiers in the front, because that way they can maybe topple some of the uh, the fortress lines uh, while the uh, infantry comes up from behind. Additionally, a few shotgunners would be pretty dandy swell. Uh, so we actually have the exact same amount of cash we can spend as the uh, defenders. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna use it <laughs> because that's gonna be uh, brilliant. You know, the defenders have some super defenses here. Uh, so we're gonna need all we can to take them down. Uh, yeah, you know what? Give me some Gatling guns in there. You know, just go all out, baby. G give me a few snipers. I'm the sniper, baby. That's beautiful. Uh, give me a give me a number of medics, sure. Litter the field with healing powers. Give me some rocketeers, and um, you know what? I think maybe just a couple more. Watcha. There we go. Let's see how this ends up going, man. Let's check it out. I think we got a pretty good fighting chance here. We are going up against some serious defenses, but like. All in all, we, we put a lot of uh, money into this thing. There we go. Parts of the Mega Fortress falling to the wayside as our blue brethren come onto it with a vengeance. But is it going to be enough? Gatling guns rounding off cannons firing as much as they possibly can. And yet the Reds still manage to hold out pretty strongly here. Only their front lines is falling and even that is still somewhat together. There we go. Large portions of the fortress getting knocked over in one foul swoop. Oh, massive section blowing off right there. B-E-A, beautiful baby. The problem is this left fort over here is still standing really, really strong. Our blue musketeers trying their best to uh, get as much fire into that fortress as possible. Trying to knock down that middle section uh, to the best of their ability. But you gotta remember, there's still so many red troopers left over behind as well. There's also troopers all throughout the innards of this fortress too. This thing is not going down without a fight. Without a serious fight, man. God dang, dude. This is huge! 
There's just massive amounts of troopers all over the place. We're taking out some shotgunners here first. I hate to say it, but I think the um, first portion of this battle will actually result in a bit of an L here because all we have left are uh, riflemen and one cannon and they have all of this going on. It's not even worth watching. Let me go ahead and ramp up these defenses and then we can try this thing again. I'll be right back. All right, gamers, we've increased our numbers a dramatic amount here. Check this out. Check this out before this fully goes in we have just a, a just an army dude just an absolute plethora of men coming forward to attack these fortress walls it is insane we got shotgunners we've got firework duders we've got ourselves cannons we've got nebelwerfers we've got captains we've got musketeers we've got it all baby let's watch this unfold here right off the bat tons and tons of incoming fire absolutely crashing into our troopers here things aren't looking too hot for our boys but here we go grenadiers reaching the front walls those bombs will help out and there we go musketeer charge into the bottom however that might actually end up killing most of our guys if these walls do end up coming down but they're in there boys they're just in there they're in the fortress right now taking on shotgunners bayonetting them to death what a bunch of absolute mad lads in the rear, backup fire supports trying to help their best, but still, these fortress walls destroying us. Let's quickly assess the situation we've got going on. The left side over here is crumbling. Hopefully, these troopers here can finish them off. We do have a shotgunner really up in their lines. We only have one cannon on this side firing into the main fortress here. That's going to be a problem, especially because there's so many riflemen still alive around there. In the straight center here, we do have a solid am amount of troopers going in. Uh, and then also, our shotgunners have almost completely eliminated this fort over here. So we're looking okay in some sections of the battlefield, but overall, we could be looking a whole lot better. There we go. Massive sections of the wall falling down. That's what we like to see there, baby. But still, the sides of the fortress are still getting tons of shots out at us. This is definitely a bit of a problem for us here uh, because we might not have the troopers to make this thing happen. We need our cannons to really step things up here and uh, start spamming out fire. Also, this fortress over here did not fall nearly as easily as I was hoping it would in just a short period of time. Instead, it's managed to hold out for the majority of uh, the battle here, and that might be because there's a medic still alive somewhere in here. I am seeing a healing aura. Yes, that is the report I am giving. A healing aura is uh, somehow helping those guys out, and that's no bueno at all. The center section is beginning to tumble and crumble a little bit more. Oh, no. Ooh, okay. Instead of hurting the enemy more, that hurt us way, way more. That is not a, a great thing to see right there. Not at all, in fact. That is pretty devastating for us. Yeah, it seems like we just cannot catch a break no matter how deep we end up getting our troopers in here. The enemy is just one step ahead of us, one step further towards victory while we're just lollygagging behind like a couple of buffoons. And the thing you gotta remember is even if we destroy the main fortress, there's all of this back here too! Look at this crud going on! How, how am I supposed to compete with this? There's just so many red troopers all over the place. Ooh, more of the, the fortress walls, though, falling down. That's helpful-ish. Ooh, some of these guys over here fell as well. Beautiful. I think this game got some updates because it used to be that if... Um, troopers fell even like a, a centimeter they would instantly die but now it seems like they can actually survive some falls which is a lot a lot more helpful however if these blocks do land on them which it looks like they're going to uh they will still of course perish that is bea beautiful right there baby we're seeing some more damage getting done to this fortress after the fact that's nice to see but i mean there's still all of those musketeers over there dude like, I think it's unwinnable at this point for the amount of troopers that we have left. We have, um, no cannons, no cannons, and just, oh, we do have one Gatling gun. Never mind, it's dead. Okay, we have a few riflemen, but that's about it, dude. That is it. I, I, I think this will end up being another L here. We have some shotgunners coming forward, actually. Oh, Grenadier getting a grenade off on him. There you go. That was pretty nifty swifty. Not too shabby. All right, but snipers taking out our troopers as they proceed forward. Yeah, this is going to be another fat L right now. That's an L. I mean, look at it's just rip. All right, let's try explosive only. Last time trying on this fortress. 
All right, gamers, last situation here with this mega fortress. I, I want to topple it. So we're just going, you know what? We need more. We need more. That's it. We need more. We're just <laughs> filling the map with cannons. Oh, God, I might have added too many. Okay. All right. Oh, Lord. Um, yeah, it's fine. Just, just go. <laughs> yes. Yes. Artillery everywhere. Oh, it's beautiful. What bountiful explosions. <laughs> oh, it's working. Mildly. I mean, the problem is, I think there's a lot of friendly fire going on. Um, like a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Um, you know, it's not working that well. <laughs> I'll be honest, this, uh, this map's really hard to defeat. Um, you know, really cool map. I really dig it. But, um, I think you'd literally need to spread a trooper on every square inch of this thing, and then maybe you could win. You know? There's just too much defensive power here. The defenses are too extreme to actually break through, I think. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is tricky. Not to mention, like, normally you can just sort of blow your way through the defenses in this game. But the fact that they're all stacked together and that when you create rubble, it actually protects the enemies more. And rarely actually, like, breaks down the, um, the actual walls and things like that. That's when it gets even harder to win, you know? It, the more you destroy the fort, the stronger the fort gets. You know, you live long enough to see yourself become the fort. And it's not good, dude. It's not good at all. Yeah, these guys are crushing us. <laughs> I mean, we've got a few cannons left. Um, probably a small fraction of what we started with here. Uh, but they're not even making that much progress. Ooh, there's some progress, actually. But that is going to probably kill a good number of our cannons. Or block their paths. Yep, that did. Okay. You know, we're getting minimal amounts of destruction here. Way less than I would hope for. And you gotta remember that all these guys are still alive. I mean, that's the problem with this fort. You think you might just have it. You think you might just crush all of these enemies that are around here and around the back and on the interior. And then you remember, there's like a hundred more troopers right here. A captain. Uh, more on this wall. And then more back here, including more mortars and more captains. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> this is a brutal fort. Yeah, while we were looking over there, more and more of our units ended up dying. Uh, we do have some more destruction happening, which is beautiful, B-E-A-utiful, uh, but it's nothing to pog. It is not the poggers experience that we were hoping for. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're tic-tacking away at these bricks, but not a lot's happening. I wish, oh, there is a fast forward button. All right, let's fast forward. Whoa, whoa, oh, the lag. All right, let's maybe go two speed instead. <laughs> that was seriously laggy. All right, fair enough. There's probably a lot of entities on the battlefield after all. You know, you don't wanna, you don't wanna mess with this kind of game, man. You might burn your computer to the ground. That's the problem with battle simulators. You get too intense, and they will bite back. They will bite back big time. We might actually manage to kill the fortress here. We got like one kill on one of these troopers in the back lines, which is kind of funny. It must have been like a loose cannonball hit or something along those lines. That's kind of cool. I, I could dig it. I could dig it. This left fort is still somehow alive. That one is way more powerful than the right fort. We've killed the right fort almost every time, but the left fort, man, it's a survivor. It's a survivor, baby. You don't love to see it. In fact, you hate to see it. It's pretty bad. <laughs> All right, well, this sniper is floating midair. Half of these guys are floating midair. What? They're cheating now. Are you kidding me, dude? Wow. Look at these cheetahs. Look at these cheetahs. <laughs> well, we're actually doing okay. Let's go triple speed now, see if we can't just speed things along here. Here, I'll stop recording. We'll see if this collapses eventually, and then if not, we could just end it there. But let's see. All right, gamers, it's been about five minutes and nothing has changed except for we've lost more cannons, but like their fortress is still the same. So I think we're going to call it here. It, this is truly a very difficult fortress to beat up. This is this is next level, next level stuff right here. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Be sure to comment down below if you did subscribe if you haven't already and smash that like button. I'll see you all in the next one, guys. Let me know if you want to see more wooden battles. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.